What's up guys, this is Sunny back with another video and today I'm making this quick video because some of you guys asked me to make this video. So basically you guys wanted me to show how to fix your app store. So right after you install your, you know, Mac OS Mojave and your Hackintosh running perfectly fine but your app store is not working. So you can download any app or anything because your Apple ID is not working. There's nothing wrong with your Apple ID. Uh, basically we need to do some stuff in Clover so we can fix this issue. Now you guys also want your iMessage fix and FaceTime. So today, real quick, we'll fix all this. And hopefully this guide works for you guys and you fix all your iMovie, FaceTime and your App Store problem. Now if you do like this video and you're watching me for the first time, make sure you give thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe. So let's not waste any more time and let's just jump into my Ryzen Tosh and let's fix this issue. Let's go. Alright guys, so real quick, let's just fix your FaceTime, iMessage and your App Store. So first thing, what do you need to do guys? You need to go to Clover Configurator website and basically download Clover Configurator. Uh, there will be a link in the video description, so don't worry. Now open Clover Configurator. Go to Mount EFI because we need to mount our EFI partition. So you guys can see I have my SanDisk SSD here. Mount Partition and then type your password now we need to open the partition uh, now we need to go to EFI folder go to clover folder and you guys can see here config.plist we need to right click on that and open with clover configurator all right now let's just jump into SM BIOS and you guys can see SM BIOS, uh, there is a profile already set. Now, if you guys did watch my Ryzen Tosh guide and you use my config playlist, then you should have like a uh, iMac 14,2 profile already set. Now, what do you need to do? You see here system, serial number, you need to generate new number. Now, click on generate new, and then you need to also generate SM UUID generate new number all right we are done with sm bios now let's go to system parameters and we need to generate custom uuid generate new now we need to go to rt variables and generate new rom number right here so just generate and now you see here mlv we need to copy that and replace the old MLV number here. If you don't have anything there, it's okay, but if you have a number there, just replace with the new one anyway. All right, now we can just go to File, Save, and we can just close Clover Configurator, and we are done. Now all you have to do basically just uh, restart your computer and everything should work all right guys so as you guys can see app store is working um also showing me i have an update i need to update xcode and uh, we can download anything you want now before we start downloading uh app store will ask for our apple id so you guys will see right now so just type your apple id email address and your password and then after that uh, download will start all right so as you guys can see it's downloading right now now let's look at the iMessage and FaceTime so you guys can see iMessage is working and also FaceTime is working so basically I call from my Apple ID to my phone now let me text myself like message myself all right working and FaceTime is also working you guys can see sunny so let's FaceTime sunny all right working perfectly fine so guys if you guys do follow this step-by-step -step, uh, guide I just showed you uh, your 
iMessage, FaceTime, and your App Store should work. So you guys just seen I call myself like uh, I did FaceTime myself from my phone to this uh, Apple ID, and it's working perfectly fine. All right, guys. Hopefully this video does help you guys, and hopefully your iMessage, FaceTime, and App Store does work. Now remember, this guide will only work with Ryzen Tosh. If you do follow Ryzen Tosh 2.1 guide and you follow this step-by-step -step, uh, Clover guide for your iMessage, FaceTime and App Store should work. Now if you guys have any other question, don't forget to leave in the comment section and also don't forget to like this video and if you're watching me for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next one. Mm -hmm.